All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you fairly quickly how to make your Google slideshows, okay? So after you went to Canvas, You're going to click on the science class. You're going to click on intro to science. You're going to click on August 19th. And you're going to scroll down to where it says click here to get a vocabulary slides template to use. Tap on that. It's going to open to this page and you're going to press make a copy. This automatically saves it into your Google Drive, okay? So from there, it opens a slideshow, and you can edit it here, or you can edit it in the app. If I'm using an iPad, I prefer to use the app. If you want to do it here, that's fine, but I'm going to show you how to use the app, okay? So when it comes to this screen, just exit out of it and go back to your home with all your icons. Somewhere on your iPad is the Google Slides app. It is a yellow box and it says slides underneath it. If you don't see that, you can drag your finger down in the center of the screen and search for the word slides. And you should see it under applications. Now everybody's iPad should already have this, but if for some reason your iPad does not, to add a app, you can find your self-service app. It's white with the square that's four different colors. It says self-service under it. If you tap on it, it's going to pull up all the apps you're allowed to allow, add to your iPad by our school district. So if you, they're in alphabetical order. So if you scroll down to the S, or they're in the G's because it's Google Slides, you'll see it and you can press install there and it'll install it if you don't already have it. It should already be on your iPad though. All right, so you're going to open the app. When you open the Google Slides app, you're going to see all the slideshows that are in your Google Drive. So the one you just added should be there. You're going to tap on it. Every word that is a vocab word I've already made you a slide for. What you're doing is putting in the vocabulary definition and a picture for that word. Now, um, some of these words like problem or results, when you search them on Google for a picture, they're going to have all kind of different stuff. So you might want to Google search something more specific like science experiment results or science experiment problems, things like that to make sure it pulls up scientific pictures. All right. So you're going to type in your definitions. You double tap. It'll let you type. When you're done typing, the check mark in the top corner will make it disappear. You can add different colors, different backgrounds using the tools above. When you're ready to add a picture, you leave this screen and go to Google. Search for whatever you need. So here I searched for science experiment because I was doing that slide, okay? So if I search science experiment, I'm going to click on images and I'm going to find a picture I like. All right, so if I, let's say I like this one, I'm going to tap on it and make it bigger. Once it's bigger, this one looks, oh, there it goes. Once it's bigger, I'm going to hold my finger down somewhere on the picture for a second, and it's going to pop up this, these, this option. you got to hold your finger there for a good minute. All right, so I'm going to press Save Image, and that's going to put it in my photos. If it asks you for permission, just cl click allow. Then I'm going to go back to the slideshow. And at the top of my slideshow, there is a plus sign. I'm going to tap the plus sign. And I'm going to pick image from photos. And I'm going to find the one I just added. You can use these boxes in the corner to drag and resize to make it however big you want. Don't forget, you also have to write the definition to the word here, okay? So once you've added a picture and a definition for every slide, you can also change the slide background colors if you want to. Um, to do that, you use the tools at the top. There's all kind of good stuff you can do. You can add shapes, lines, tables, text, comments. 
these um, three dots over here where it says change theme. That's how you can pick which colors it is and stuff. Um, you can change the fonts up here in the toolbar as well. You'll just have to play around with all the different tools, okay? And then once you've got every slide finished, you'll go back to Canvas, and I've got another video that's going to show you how to turn it in, okay?